Hey everybody, welcome to the Dad Challenge Podcast. My name is Josh, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're doing swell. Today we're talking about Della Vlaud. They went to Paris. <laughs> These people who constantly say their lives are so busy and they're so tired from working so hard, they went to the Paris Olympics. We're also gonna take a look at our snark thread and how much this baby actually hates the mother. It's actually kind of crazy that they document this for us to see. And obviously the expectation is crazy. So let's talk about it. Heading over to Della Vlog Snark, which has 7.1 thousand members now. Uh, more more epic comments, Bella. You're not fast enough because they delete. They obviously completely curate their comment section. They do not want people to see how bad they are. It's crazy because we could just see it. It's people could still see it regardless of the comments. But they said having a baby will slow you down. You've chosen to slow down your child's development instead. Now, what people are talking about here is the amount of times that they travel. That this kid doesn't have an actual functioning, like, normal system going on. Like, routine, anything like that. Every, everybody who's, any, anybody who's ever had babies or has a brain in their head knows that babies need routine. Okay, routine is one of the most important things for the development. Okay, these people are, like, going boating one day. They're, they're flying there the other day. They're going here. They're never settled down. They don't have a routine. They do not have a normal life. And that is going to affect this kid. I'm sorry, it will. Traveling a lot in different time zones and making different ways of like she doesn't have a regular napping schedule, feeding schedule, none of that stuff works when you travel. You could try, but it's not going to work, especially if the parents are stressed out from traveling and everything else that stresses the baby out. It all comes down to this. These people using this child as an accessory to their new life where they can travel all the world. And don't ever forget. Don't ever forget that Della Vlogs does not need to exploit a child to make money. Okay. She's worth millions of dollars because of her MLM. The origami owl bullshit. Because she did, there was never a need. Plus, they already had a successful channel before this baby came along. So they had no necessity. And not saying necessity is, an, is you know, a good enough excuse for exploitation, but at least it is an excuse. Okay, you got this mad mama over here talking recently about how she's getting 700 bucks from YouTube and 700 bucks from TikTok, and that's how she pays her bills and she can't get a regular job. It's bullshit, by the way. Um, but, the you know, at least she can say she has nothing else and this is the only way to pay her bills. Okay, it's still stupid, but okay. These people exploit a child for the likes and comments. It's actually crazy. This child will never be able to tell the world her own story, even though her name is story, okay? Because their parents have already told the story for her. What if one day she didn't want the world to know she was adopted or her friends and family in school to know that she was adopted, okay? What if one day she just said, you know, because that's a choice that kids who are adopted should have. Now, it, I shouldn't, I'm not saying hide that from your kid as the parent of the adopted kid. I'm saying let that kid know, but let that kid choose. And they have already taken that away from her. And it's, you just know, there's no going back on it. They've, it's, it's too little too late, no matter what you think. And here's another post from four days ago on the Reddit thread. We are looking for another big trip, maybe four to five weeks again. Any suggestions where to go, unique places, blah, blah, blah. Stay home. You have a literal baby that you need to stay home for and give a regular life to. Okay, traveling like just all like they are just full time travelers. All they do now, it's not good. It's not smart until they're a little older, at least. And these people are so selfish. Took a day trip to L.A. and I miss her so much. And her, it's like the freaking fat face on the freaking TV behind her. <laughs> you don't miss your daughter. Look at this comment on the post. Playing with her presence, she loves like they have have like we know predators exist and are looking for this exact content. Look at my interview with Dr. Leslie Dobson again. Go back to that. These guys in these prisons and these systems, they're allowed to watch this type of stuff. This is where they get it. Okay? And you feed it to them a silver platter. But look at the comments. In a shirt that y'all can see your little tatas. It's a baby. That's it. She got me as a brother now from the Netherlands. The Hague God. What a cute... Like, who... Like, who is leaving comments like this? this? is actually insanity. Yes, Bella, you can make your daughter your mini-me. You can dress your doll like a clown the way you dress yourself. Also, after all, you don't look you, like you'll give her any chance of freedom to do things she chooses for herself. She's there to fulfill your whims. That's like, if you think about this comment, it's really, really deep. You think about this. Very good comment. She's there to fulfill your whims. This this baby was literally purchased from an adoption agency for something like thirty to $40,000. I'm not joking. This is child trafficking, and I don't care. 
Adoption is great, but when you pay to get ahead of the line and you have enough money to like manipulate the system, you literally are buying a baby and that's traffic. You're buying a human being to fulfill your whims, to fulfill your fantasy of being a mother, to, to make other people jealous, to catch up to other influencers who already have babies for out of jealousy, for, a, for an accessory, to make money, to exploit. That's the reason they have this child. And that is actually insane. This kid is one, one day going to wake up and see all that. And let's not forget she named this kid's story. Okay. Don't forget that. Anyway, let's get to this video. So they traveled to Paris for the Olympics, obviously with their child in tow, um, who can't have a normal life. And uh, let's see how like uh, how hard their life is traveling to the Olympics. <laughs> oh yeah, with you. That looks safe. Nobody around. If that kid falls backwards. She's gonna smoke her head off that pole in the elevator. But do these people care? No, they don't. And maybe that happened, but they wouldn't film that part. Now, which I'm so excited because that's where me and Dallin got engaged. That's where Dallin and I. Dallin and I. Me and Dallin. Sounds like you're in grade eight. And we now get to bring our daughter there. We're going for the Olympics. <laughs> Look at her. She's already. She just wants to go. So this is gonna be a very interesting fight. But we've got this. We did. Shut up. The pre-board, the family boarding. So it's like we're on very early. We have for this. Mid-flight, we tried blowing up the bed, but Air France said no. Uh -huh. A little toddler bed that we bought on Amazon. Because it's probably unsafe. But you don't give a shit, do you? I hope so. How are you feeling? Ten hours. Ten hours of pair. I'm so excited. This girl's a little Yeah, you sound excited. Mover though. <laughs> yeah, so this girl's a little mover, so stick her in a chair for ten hours. That'll go over well. These people don't care at, at all. It isn't free. Like I can understand a one trip, but again, it's not one trip. Now they're trying to go another way for another five to six weeks. It's like twenty trips already this kid's been on. <laughs> It's a 9 a.m. here in Paris, and it's midnight back home. She's doing great. She always does great. It's Bella and I that are like, ugh. <laughs> you poor guy. Did you get tired on an airplane? <laughs> Shut up! We're exhausted. We're in Paris. We're exhausted for traveling to the Olympics for fun. Let's go. Because we don't have regular jobs. At all. Oh. So we literally broke the most important like, my eyeballs are really close together. Important rule of traveling. Right when you get to your destination, you should not sleep. We slept. We slept. We got yeah. right to Look at this guy. Look like he's half in the bag on fentanyl. Our Airbnb and we crashed and now it's like 5 p.m. and we missed the Olympics. Awesome. But I don't know how we wouldn't have not slept. We, because... we didn't sleep on the plane for one minute. Yeah, I would have. Well, that was stupid of you. Why don't you do that? You have two of you. Take shift sleeping, dumbasses. Been like literally an all nighter. So cheers. Cheers to Red Bull. Cheers to Red Bull. Where I it wasn't an all nighter. You got there at midnight your time and then slept. So it wasn't an all nighter, dumbass. I'm here in Paris right now, trying to wake up. I'm always quicker to wake up. She looks like she been up and didn't sleep at all. I just went to the grocery store and I grabbed some groceries for a story. I want to make sure she had some fruit and all the things that she likes. So that was fun. And now we're going to head out and probably go sightseeing a little bit. Try and stay up. Oh, go oh. get some dinner. She's so freaking cute. Let's, Let's go, go out. Let's explore. go explore. <laughs> Paris. That's, that's what he feels like all the time and for his love for her. That's what it looks like. So we're about to that guy is rough. He doesn't do... He needs beauty rest, man. That guy is a baby. Enter the world's smallest elevator. And earlier, there was another woman in there with me with a big bag. And I was just like squeezed to the side. I was like, I'm very claustrophobic. And I just realized that. And this Take the stairs in, butthole! Exact moment. Where, where did I go, no, though? Right here. That is... <laughs> not gonna lie, it's the world's smallest elevator. <laughs> Or you could take the stairs. This door closes too. How many floors is it? Look at us in the mirror over here. Hey! <laughs> hey! If you pose for a video, I think that you are dumb. Like I can see a pose for picture, but she's like. You ever do that with your friends? We used to do this all the time when we were in a band. We would always be like, a fan would come up and like want to take a picture and like it was always for our bass player too always and we i'd be like i'll take a picture for you in the, and hold it but we'd always be taking a video and he'd be like wait taking a video we'd take it every time and he'd always fall for it anyway that's i just remember that i thought it was funny like does he like look where he has to walk across the street halfway set up his camera while she walks by that's not normal everybody it's not normal we're doing right now it's called sightseeing you like it just can't talk, dumbass. 
<laughs> Do you like sightseeing? I can only see right in front of me. I have no peripheral vision. <laughs> You're just such a sweet, sweet girl. If cheeks would help you survive the apocalypse, this woman would live forever. My little sightseer. I love this. She's not your little sightseer. You are forcing her to travel all over the world. She's not a sightseer. Okay, she, hasn't, she can't consent to this, nor to the exploitation. We just walked down to the Paris Olympic store. We've been here many times. It's never looked like this. They like walked it all off. Like, 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 like. The Olympics. It's so cool. We're trying to get the pins. Everybody collects pins for the Olympics. So hopefully they still have some because I really want to collect some for story to remember this. She doesn't give a shit. Okay. Here's what you do when you travel with your kids. You want to do something that they're going to remember? Christmas ornament. Boom! Every time now you're loading up the Christmas tree because we don't have regular ornaments. Our Christmas tree is full of memory ornaments. Like full. Like this year, every time I went to New York City, ornament of New York City. And then, hey, remember we went to New York as we place it on the tree. Right? Wesley, I got a Lego one because we went to Legoland. Christmas tree. Right? Tyson's into fishing this year. Big giant ass fish. That's what we do. That's how we roll. Things like that. It's really good for the memories. The pins! So cool. You want a stuffed animal? Will you go get her one, darling? Please <laughs> hold it for her picture. Will you go buy her a $75 one, please? You need a stuffed animal right now? She needs a stuffed animal. You're such a douche. It looks like a piece of red poo. It looks like a poo emoji, but it's red. Get your stomach checked. That is a poo emoji. I got you one. Oh. After Taco Bell. Oh. <laughs> Oh no! These jeans are ugly! Found a little Italian restaurant. It's so cool to see everything set up for the Olympics. Like, this has just actually been such a great day. That's because that's where the Olympics are, butt crack. And tomorrow we have some fun things planned. There you go. We are at the Olympics, right? Are... You keep saying that! We got it! Now, my pronouns are USA! Did she just say my pronouns are USA? Did she just say that? Is she gonna get canceled for that? That's stupid. I'm so excited. We're going in right now. Story's first Olympics. I don't think you're allowed in with those cheeks. I think you'd be like, I think there's something in there. You're not allowed to bring your own food in here, chipmunk. No. Let me check the cheeks. The up one, not the bottom ones. How does it feel, story, to be here for one year on this earth and you're going to the Olympics? See, look at the flex. How does it feel to be like you're winning? You get to go to the Olympics? She's not gonna remember it! How does it feel? You, you're the one. Oh, the stupid douche! I don't like her. She says it feels really cool, and she's really excited as a kid. I hope your dress gets trapped and then <laughs> rips off. Of course, they get a box because we ain't with the plebs down there. What's the opposite of Botox? That's what she needs in her cheeks. <laughs> oh. We're so rich and you are poor. Oh my god, she's a Mensa. My pronouns are cheeks and small eyes. Cameras. Who sets a camera up on them? We got go team. Ah. Oh! <laughs> Who won? We're going to the Eiffel Tower right now. Oh my gosh! Like I set this tripod up on the other side of the street, then we walked back over, and then we walked towards the tripod. <laughs> Like, you guys, I wish you could see how it's done. Like, I wish they had actually cameras show you how these people do this stuff because you would make them look so more dumb than they already are. 
It's so, it bothers me so much. I don't know why it bothers me so much, but it bothers me because it's so damn fake. This is Thor's first Like, watch. Time. Nobody realizes it, but they have to literally run over, set up a camera, run back over, and then walk over. We're going to the Eiffel Tower right now. This is Thor's first time live. And they never look in the lens. They just look at themselves. And I don't know why. Because no. Eiffel Tower. If you don't know, that's where we got We know. We did a video on it. We made fun of you because it's all fake. Engaged. This guy's like, please pay for my racing. My go-kart racing later. Please pay for my life. That's the Eiffel Tower. This guy won the lottery marrying this girl, right? I mean, in the fact that he gets money, but also has to, but, you know, there is, you do have to pay your dues. He doesn't like her at all. Right, so I Would you do this? Now, I know a lot of you are women. Would you actually marry for money? If a guy was so wealthy, would you just, like, does it matter? Because I would never marry somebody for money. Like, I know money's great and it does pay for things and money does bring a certain amount of happiness. I get that. But, man, would you, to be miserable everywhere else, though, it just doesn't, it won't work. You could have the nicest house in the world, nice kitchen, nice bathroom, nice cars. But if you ain't in love, you got nothing. It's just not worth it. Ha! Specifically, this spot called Trocadero. I think it's all closed for the Olympics. That's all I was just about to say. I'm kind of bummed because I don't think we can get oh to that gosh. spot. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay, here, guy. Okay. And it's gonna be cool to see where the Olympics is happening, but I was really hoping that we could take Story back to that exact spot. We she is one year's effing old. She's not gonna remember any of this, and she probably got a full diaper full of shit. Okay, she's not going to remember. Why don't you take it back? She's three, four, five years old. Then she can remember. You're so stupid. We were talking yesterday about how magical Paris feels compared to like any other city that we've been to, like New York. Like there's just such a magic. Like, oh my god, like there's magic in these cobblestone streets. Magical feeling here, and I don't know what. It's, it's not. It's not magical. French people are rude. It's, it's love, baby. It's, it's love. love. It really isn't. You guys are not in love. Okay. I don't know what it is. I don't know what you call this. She might love him, but it's definitely not reciprocated. Like a hundo. <laughs> Hunt it. <laughs> Look what the tripod is. What if someone comes by and just steals your shit? Look how far away their tripod is. Don't look at the camera. 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 Oh, another switch. Look how, and look how, like, they're trying to look so nonchalant. And they're like, dude, this is, uh, they're the worst actors. Even just walking, they're the worst actors. That's really weird, people, that they do this. It's so different. They have, like, so much that they've done for the Olympics. Like, You think? They have to build structures and pools and things and domes and stuff. It's so different. Like, they didn't... Why didn't they consult me when they changed Paris? Did they not know this is where I got engaged and, like, my daughter to see that spot? Like, how dare they? I'm telling Napoleon Bonaparte about it in my prayers. F these people. It's like all blocked off, but I think there's like a little entrance that we could go to. Just boner. <laughs> see a good view of the Eiffel Tower, I'm hoping. But we'll see what happens. This is what it looks like, but why is it so Do you you have a gimbal, right? Because <laughs> Dallin, are you like are you okay? Because you can see the Olympic rings. Like this is gonna be a picture we're gonna show story. Oh my gosh, are you? Her the Eiffel Tower and the Olympic rings. We'll remember exactly when it was. 2024. Paris Olympics. That's kind of Shut up. The sun as it sets in the mountains. Isn't that the river full of shit people are getting sick for swimming in? That's the city of love and poo water. Find luck like a bed. Okay, that's like, I know you got her, but uh, be careful. Be careful! I think this is the closest we're going to get to the Eiffel Tower today. We'll try a different way. I think we can go around the back, but I think it's kind of cool to just see the Olympic rings right here. Where do you see these rings? Oh, I see. On the Eiffel Tower. I see. Okay. Everything is blocked off, though, for the Olympics, so it is kind of... You think? <laughs> you think it's blocked off for the Olympics? But you went there knowing it was the Olympics. <laughs> You're an idiot! A bummer, but it's also, like, I'm trying to have that perspective. It's cool to see it during this time because we have seen it before without the Olympics stuff being up. So it is kind of cool to see, but kind of a bummer. Look how cool! That's You're kind of a bummer. <laughs> Big time. It's right here. Dick. Whoa, thanks for putting that in the writing below. We're at track and field. And it's just called track and field. Not tracking fields. Okay. We're supporting Team Tara. She's gonna take first. We've got this. What is she doing? She's doing the long jump. 
and it's about to start right now. I'm a little nervous. You don't even know who she is. You just who's the American? Okay, I'll buy that shirt. But I thought like she's got this in I mean that's I guess how you're supposed to do it anyway. Uh, that shirt's cool. Little pin too. And but below this I'm wearing my Stop it! Let's go! She is in the house. High jump though is cool. Like let's be real. <laughs> it's all white people clapping. Clap! They're all <laughs> oh, Go, Tara! Don't cr don't crash and burn. Oh, triple jump! No, long jump, long jump. So I think long jump. It's like the, the whatever dirt is ex like to, it, whatever exposed or like touched first. That's what they measure to. So you can go as far as you want, but you don't want you want to like go forward, right? I thought it was going forward. Yay! She did a good job on this end. Did she win? I think she got gold. Why don't they show that? You're at the Olympic, you don't even show what they got? Okay, here we go, here we go. But that's not the jump that they saw, is it? It's like cornstarch. Sunlight draped across your face. Holy, they took over an entire museum. You are smiling from. But in this moment, we're together. She bolts for it. Let's go! Let's get out of here! Oh, that's awesome. Rio and... That's awesome. That's Rio and this one's... Uh, Beijing? Oh, cool. Two in Beijing? Two in Beijing. Well, four, I won the, the four by four and I won the open for him. Wow, congratulations, man. That's awesome. <laughs> What's your name again? Epic! Iconic! They went to Paris and took a 10 minute video. That's all you got in Paris? Again, they had to write it off as an expense, right? So. She got to hold it. She was a little unsure because it was so heavy, but it was epic. We are about to hike to the top. That wasn't epic. Do you know what the word epic means? Because that was not epic. Top of the Arc de Triomphe right now. And man, it's a lot of stairs. We've done this two other times. It is kind of a good little workout though, so I'm excited to shut up, cheeks. Do the stairs, and we're gonna carry stories. So it's We've never like, done it with her though. It's like having a weight vest on, but we just carved up with some croissants, and now we're ready to hike to the top. Her choice of footwear is the worst. This woman is a millionaire, and she wears the ugliest shoes. Do you like team up with like Alicia Docker and be like, let's get shoes together? We'll buy we'll buy the same seats. <laughs> So you pores, if you didn't know what it's like in Paris, it's like our third time. So we just want to help the pores out by showing you what it's like. You're welcome, the pores. Distractions is the silence that's worth fighting for. People can't even afford groceries, literally, or pay electric bills. And these people are like traveling for fun all the time and flexing on everybody. If you have never been to Paris, poor people, let me show you how. I wouldn't be so mad either if she got her money no, like a regular person instead of using MLM to get it because that's disgusting anyway there you go everybody we're going to Paris join us for Paris poor people it's really nice if you ever get out here sometime you won't though but if you do do the triumph stairs they're like a weight vest shut up idiots <laughs> guys thanks for being here everybody take a huge ass deep ass cheeky breath She's like this. It's like, hey everybody, welcome to Dialovla. <laughs> Idiots. I love making fun of them because they're assholes, and assholes deserve to be made fun of. Pick better shoes, okay? And Dallin, do better.
idiot. Both of you guys are idiots. Or Del Ballon or whatever your hell of a name is. Dallin. Douchebag and balloon face. Anyway, thanks for being here, guys. You're amazing, incredible, valuable. Don't forget it. Someone loves you. Someone has a huge crush on you, too. You just don't know it. But it's there, I promise. Maybe it's the guy at Zeller's. Or Walmart or something. Could be. Because you're awesome. I'll see you when I see you.